of uh, August 2019. Well, I have been in the company of Peter Pinches Mora and Osborne Monday, who have been also part of this, this afternoon. And we've been talking about a raft of issues that happened over the week uh, in the national team, uh, well, in local football, in terms of the Golden Boot Award <laughs> with the uh, claims. Uh, two more players, Omar Kasumba and Wanga, claiming for the same uh, award. And uh, feel free to talk to us. 0739110544 is our SMS line. On Twitter, we are at KUTV Kenya. Our hashtag is hashtag KUTV on the sport. I'm at Florin. Do we talk tomorrow at uh, Real uh, Pinches? Well, and speaking of Real Pinches, he did have an, a one on one with one and only uh, James Nandwa. Now, uh, legendary coach James Nandwa has been in the football uh, for more than two decades, playing for Tali before shifting to coaching. Nandwa has been at the helm of Thika United, FC Leopards, and the national football team Harambe Stars. Uh, with his experience in football, uh, the legendary tactician shares some of uh, some insights on the state of uh, Kenyan football. Take a look. Football scene has things changed. Uh, what I would say that, uh, okay, they are changing slowly uh, because at least we have a good federation at the moment and uh, at least coaches, they have been contracted. When we were there, there were so many problems. Preparation, they have good preparation, like the national team. So I would say that they, there is changes, but uh, what I've seen in the grassroots, we, have, we still have problems because we have so many players. Like now you see we are in extreme. So many players we have. But this talent, we are wasting this talent. So I just had the federation to work hard, to go down the grassroots and to, to nurture these players, to make them be good players in the near future. I started with Utali. There are about five players who are outside there. Timothy Kibune, Antonio Rigi. There are so many players outside there playing in professional. Okay, now I've come, I've come back to the youth and uh, I've mentored about four or five players. They are, they are doing well. I've been in Thika, the same. So I think I have so many players, but they know me. What I would say that um, uh, just, I, I cannot say that I'm a perfect uh, coach, but I've, I've uh, helped so many players. And I believe that those players, they have made me who I am, and they have worked hard for their life, and they are okay. Because when uh, 2013, I had uh, I was given opportunity to coach a national team. We went in uh, Kampala. That is the time that uh, I got uh, any someone like Kalaba. I say that I'm happy because uh, okay we have problem. These many teams they, they don't have sponsors, and uh, what you, what I see every day is players they're not being paid, coaches they are, they are being sacked. They are, we have so many problems. You see like South Africa. Every team, every club, they, they have given one million dollars. One million dollars is like 100,000. One, one hundred million. Let, let me say, one million dollars is like 100 million dollars. To plan, it's easier. To pay a player, it's easier. And everything is easy. But now you see so many players in our country, they suffer. Like now, I've seen so many clubs complaining. So many players like... Uh, Kenya. Mount Kenya now, yeah, they have a problem. Even Viga, the Shoni Sugar, so many players. So I would say that uh, that is the problem we have. We have so many coaches in our country, but they don't have that opportunity of, of coaching. Mm -hmm. So I decided I don't have any club. Let me go back to, uh, to the grass to, to, to help these young players. Mm -hmm. I'm happy because uh, the other day <laughs> players went to France. For pre, it's like uh, uh, preparing for, for AFCON. During our days, we, are, we have been given four or five days to prepare a team. I'm happy because that is the good changes we have. And uh, I would say that uh, that's good for the federation, even good for the government, because government gave about 200 and something million for that preparation. We need to work hard because in Nigeria, the same federation and uh, the government, they are working together. So the government, they are supporting the federation. We need the support, yeah, need the support from the government. If the federation needs good support, they need sponsor. Good sponsor who has money so that uh, our federation can be strong, our clubs, our national team can be strong. Even under 10, under 15, under 20, and even girls. Yeah. yeah. All I'll say that as a player, I went with Utali and we went in Tunis. Uh, we played. Uh, we played in the uh, that it's all like uh, club champions. 
I was still playing. Up to now, I still remember that because we were in Akuru, we won, we beat uh, Sudan, El Merek 4-0, we had El Tohali in, in, in uh, Tunis, we drew and then we lost in penalties. Uh, that is my big memory. In the national team, I've been uh, all African games. My first time to, to be in the national team, I played uh, 1980, 81, 82, 83 with uh, Marshall Mulwa and uh, we won three times Eastern Central. At that time, it used to be called Eastern, Eastern Central. Central. Uh, 1981, 82, 83. <laughs> so I have those memories. Yeah. As a coach, 2012, 2013, I was runners up. 2007 and 8, we were with Kimanzi, I was assistant. Uh, we was runners up in uh, Eastern Central. AFC, we, I won, we won, uh, we won number seven at that time coming to AFC. And then we won Go TV 2013, Shield Cup, Shield Cup and then I, went, I came to number two. So I still have those memories. I'll tell them because we have young players in our team and uh, some of them, uh, some, we, 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 in, we invite them for trials for the other team. I'll tell them keep on working hard. Even those coaches who are in this uh, ground level, you just teach these players. You won't know. God will help one or two players to go in the Premier League, our Premier League, or even outside the country. So you, you cannot know. These players, they have so many talent. They need guidance. This is your time as a coach. Help these boys to, to, to achieve their goals. During our days, we used to work hard. And we, at that time, there were not facilities. I would say that these openings, uh, posting, sometimes you can say that I'm a good player, you show yourself. Those during our days, no, nothing, yeah, it was only radio. <laughs> People, they were knowing you, listening to radio. But at this moment, it's okay, you can record yourself, you can uh, have your CV, and you can send somewhere, and you can, you can get that job. So I'm just telling coaches, please help these boys. They are our boys, they need guidance.